Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Okay, so it's getting to the point of the latter part of the evening where you want to really start to wind down. You perhaps want to get all that product build up out of your hair from your style, what you've had today. Now, the idea came into my mind. I was actually just getting ready to go into the bathroom and wash all this product out of my hair. So as you can see, I've got quite a lot of product in today. I've got a, like a pompadour style look with lots of height on one side, slick on one side here. And then I have used lots of product for shine, lots of product for hold. So I've got a lot going on. So there's a lot of freeze hold hairspray. There's actually a little bit of pomade in here. And there's a little bit of root lifting uh, spray. Um, now, all great products, but of course, you want something which is going to look after your scalp and really remove that product buildup. And always, when you come to the later sort of later part of the afternoon, early evening, later evening, it's really nice then to start letting your scalp breathe. And sometimes just letting your hair be is, of course, the most healthiest part, as well as making sure that your hair and your hair growth and your scalp is invigorated and stimulated. An important part is just knowing enough is enough so you really can just let your scalp and your hair just breathe now this is where this uh, the kind of the idea from this has come from so recently i bought a uh, product and here we go and this is the one we're going to be reviewing right now um so head and shoulders now i know there is a stigma always online attached to head and shoulders oh no 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 it's too it's too harsh or it's really drying or it's 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 just for dandruff and um Dan Ruff, sorry. <laughs> I said that a little bit strange there, didn't I? And um, or for sort of irritated scalp or anything of those um, type of things. And I really have thought to myself for quite some time now, I wonder actually what it would be like. And no word of a lie, I have never, ever until recently used head and shoulders. Never, ever used it. Always looked at the brand, never, ever used it at all. Um, until actually I came across in a uh, in a supermarket um, the Men's Ultra Hair Booster with caffeine. And for a start, I thought to myself, OK, so caffeine, know all about caffeine in hair products. It's used for uh, the prevention of hair loss, potentially. Um, and it's used to keep hair thick. It's used to really stimulate the scalp, really make the scalp healthy and boost the appearance of thicker, full hair. Prevention. I always say because a lot of people think that caffeine helps against hair loss. I think, to be honest with you, the true reality of it is, is that we just don't know. It's different for some people. And I think, as with anything with caffeine in hair products, prevention is much, much better than cure. So if you're noticing a change in your hair, or you're finding a few more hairs on your hands, or in your brush, or whenever you're styling your hair, really then, first of all, see a medical professional, then know what you're dealing with, and then following that, pick products then which are going to boost your scalp. For example, if it is thin what you're dealing with, caffeine products are always going to give you a boost of energy and really, hopefully, really be that anchoring to your scalp, um, making sure the hair stays where you want it to stay rather than in the sink. Um, but of course, there is no guarantee it's different for everybody. So when I seen this, I thought to myself, let's give it a try. I always actually have noticed on the bottom here as well that the research is validated by the British Skin Foundation on the bottom here. OK, so then by looking at that, you would know, OK, it's got to be a product which looks after my scalp. It's got to be a product which looks after my skin. So that's great because what I do get with my hearing aids, and I haven't actually got them in at the moment because I'm having some problems with um, with a very sore, painful sort of ear on one side, which is my deaf side. Um, but what it actually is I'm having as well is I'm having some problems with this skin at the moment in the bottom of my neck and sort of just on the tops of my ear and behind my ear. The skin's quite agitated, quite sore. So the last thing I want to use is a product which is going to really exacerbate any issues there. Um, so it can be really quite nasty if you've got a strong product. So having heard this, I was a little bit anticipated, sort of apprehensive of why um, should I try it? Shouldn't I use it? I've, I read online that it can be quite strong. But, you know, I was pleasantly surprised. It wouldn't be something which I would be able to use every single day because it is quite strong. But when I say strong, I actually mean it's fine for your skin or it's OK for my skin. Um, but just be wary of that because it is quite strong. And when I say that, I mean that it seems to strip everything out of the hair, strip everything away from the hair. Now, I don't mean leaving it dry. I just mean if you had any product or any build up or anything like that at all, it would be great for stripping that away from the hair. Uh, the cuticle leaving it shiny, sleek which it does. It's really quite great on my scalp. I would find that if I was using it all the time, it may become an issue because it is quite a stripping sort of shampoo, um, especially towards the nape of my neck. But having a bit of a flare up with problems at the moment, having a bit of a slight infection in my ear, um, no, no problem really as to speak of. Probably a little bit sort of 
um, I don't want to say itchy because that really does put a damper on things, but a little bit noticeable that I've used something. But that is only, I think, because of my sort of skin irritation from what's going on with my hearing aids at the moment. Um, and that sounds strange, but anyone with hearing aids will know you get rant, you get more problems with your ears, whether that be sort of puffiness or tenderness in your ear, or if it can just be sort of a bit of an ear infection or to a major infection, a whole spectrum of that, to a bit of discomfort in the skin around your ear. Um, but keeping on topic, so this product, what I was really liking, and which is why I'm doing this clip now, so we're coming up to that part in the day, I want to get all this hair product out of my hair. I will be using this, and do you know what? It's a really great product in stripping all of that product build out so i've got a few products in here to create the style that i've got going on and it really does lift all the product away making your hair feel really soft really sleek and you know what it's really really nice because in this one you have got the caffeine in here so all i would say is don't leave it on for a long time leave it on for literally one two three minutes just so you've got that slight stimulation from the caffeine and then wash it off and because it is quite strong i wouldn't personally recommend going over a second shampoo with this because you do not need it it's quite full on um and i don't want to sort of put anybody off by that it says a hair booster yeah absolutely for potentially hair growth but it's really boosting in the fact that it does strip all that product build up away so if you are having sort of like um greasy hair or problematic scalp it would be great for clearing the scalp um that sounds awful doesn't it but it would certainly do that absolutely um and it's a really i know it's stereotypically for um sort of like a flaking scalp dandruff that type of thing but do you know what i haven't got that problem I really enjoyed using this product. I've used it a handful of times. Um, my first experience with Head & Shoulders. Um, would I buy it again? Yes, absolutely. It's great for getting rid of product buildup, and that will probably be one of my go-to products for getting rid of that sort of build up a product very often to get the volume in my hair i may use a root lifting spray i may then use a texturizing powder i may then go in with a hairspray a little bit more styling product sounds crazy but with all these things for style and i have to admit um i really do like styling my hair and i i do like exploring with all different styles and things and of course that's great but what we need to make sure is that we're looking after and cleansing our scalp impeccably because of the products which we're using so that then helps hair growth boosting hair growth and of course you're keeping that perfectly clean environments healthy environment for hair to grow at its optimum best which of course is vitally vitally important let's just read a little bit on the back here so designed for men head and shoulders ultra men series with derma and pure technology hair helps protect your scalp from itch oiliness and dryness and gives you up to 100 percent dandruff free hair with a deep clean feeling which it does our anti-hair full formula with caffeine is for stronger hair now this is where it comes a little bit down for me because when it says caffeine on here if you're like me and you'd think that actually that's for stimulation of the hair what they're actually thinking is for hair breakage which is actually a little bit of a shock because it says on the bottom it's got like an, an asterisk mark and then if you come down by the mark here it says hair full related to dandruff and breakage then you think to yourself oh whose hair loss is actually related to dandruff and breakage I would actually think not that many people of course of course breakage slightly different but hair loss no so for me i think that's a little bit that's a little bit cheeky to do that i think in a shampoo but nevertheless it's still got the caffeine element in there so that's great for potentially helping um and it's certainly a great product to use and it does leave my hair really quite soft quite sleek and very shiny i have to admit to the point where i got a couple of compliments in my family home about how shiny my hair was in the evening didn't expect it at all and yeah so an added bonus absolutely and we've got here which is always great good for the planet so 25 percent of this bottle was made from 25 percent of recycled plastic it's free from parabens uh phosphates and uh, paraffins forgive me if i've not pronounced that right so we know all those nasty products which are usually well, i say nasty sometimes i put in the hair to give a very artificial look um, to the hair after you've used the products whether it be a shampoo or conditioner so it's great if you're looking after your scalp you've not got those in there as well and then just lastly developed by experts so dermatologically tested that was a good one Matt <laughs> so we know that it's going to be great for my skin and it's going to be it's not going to cause any other problems what i was just noting on is the size here so we've got 225 mil so cost the thing is with, with head and shoulders cost very so incredible to be quite honest with you um in just in the high street here in the uk um offers range from three four a certain amount i believe it's 10 pounds um in superdrug pretty recently or two for such and such a cost at the moment i think this is around about two pounds 25 does go as cheap as sometimes two pounds um but it can just vary now 
You may think, why didn't I buy a bigger bottle? Because I've never used head and shoulders before. I didn't want to make that commitment to a huge bottle. And then if it was quite harsh or if it was quite irritating on my scalp, particularly the problem around my neck area at the moment with my hearing aids, I didn't want to be lumbered with a huge bottle of it. But do you know what? Not at all a problem. And it's a really nice product and certainly something I would absolutely recommend. So if you've got concerns around your hair, well, actually, you may even have problematic scalp. You may even have a few problems with hair fall and you want to try something different. And you do use a lot of hair products like me and you want that really nice, clean scalp, that real nice product build up removal as you could call it um, and then a nice fresh canvas to start your hairstyle the following day then certainly a great product to try and one i would recommend okay thank you very much for watching my clip today i really hope that helps i'm going to be off to rinse all this product build up and my hair's getting pretty long now so i'm not going to come back to it after i used it um we may well do that in the future. In fact, we probably will do that in the future of testing different products out. But for now, this is just a generalized review to say that it is a really great product for product removal, especially if you're like me with loads of different products, which you which you sort of build on. So, for example, using one product, then another and then another and another to get your overall style. Hope you like my style today. I'm working from home, of course, in the middle of the pandemic. New jobs going incredibly, really, really well. And I thought I would go with the big volumized sort of pompadour style on one side sort of sleek 1950s inspired hope it looks good anyway so until next time thank you very much for watching my clip and i really hope you enjoyed that i certainly did until next time we will see you then bye bye now